Lake Texana, about 70 miles west of Houston, Texas, fisheries specialist Michael Masser is working with the local river authorities to evaluate the Salvinia problem. Uh, Lake Texana has been unfortunate enough to be invaded by giant Salvinia and the boom was put up to try to slow the spread of giant Salvinia while they could get in here and work on it to try and to, uh, to control it or possibly even eradicate it. As you can see uh, giant Salvinia isn't the only problem here. There's a lot of water hyacinth in the lake, but then underneath the water hyacinth is the giant Salvinia and it's at the stage where we call it a pioneer stage. Uh, which means it's really rapidly growing, rapidly fragmenting and, and spreading. Fragmenting into many smaller colonies or even plant parts, he says, is another characteristic that makes this plant so successful. A single leaf or frond can grow into a new mature fern in days. So this could be a real problem, especially here on the Texas coastal plain where we have such warm year-round growing seasons and uh, fairly nutrient-rich conditions of this lake. Left untreated, the salvinia would kill the hyacinth and any other floating vegetation. Over time, it would cover the lake, creating a natural disaster for people and wildlife. Throughout the south, creeks and backwater bayous abound. They are not easily accessible by boat and are perfect breeding grounds for another species of salvinia, common salvinia the giant salvinia's cousin. Both common and giant are quite similar in their growth rate and their ability to destroy habitat. Both were probably introduced into this country through the water garden trade. Giant salvinia has become so prolific that it's illegal to transport, sell, or possess the weed in eight states. Unfortunately, giant salvinia can not legally be cultivated and sold within the other 42 states as long as the weed does not cross state lines. Common salvinia is only restricted in Texas and Louisiana.